Good morning from Six Flags Magic Mountain in California, the thrill capital of the world. Gonna do things a bit different today. I'm gonna go vlog style because we got a lot to pack in. Uh, they're open 10:30 to 6. We're gonna see what we can get done. This park has the most roller coasters of any. So let's go. Heading in right at 10:29, right on time. There is a little bit of a line to get in here. We are here at the end of January. Hurricane Harbor's over there. Obviously not open this time of year. Just got out of X2, that was the first ride of the day. It's a good ride to rope drop because the loading process takes forever. I've also heard that it tends to break a lot. So definitely recommend getting on it when you can. It's a fun coaster that has a controlled spin so it chooses which direction to spin you at what time. So it's a lot of fun, although it can give you a bit of a headache. I hit my head pretty hard at the end. So keep your head back. The Viper Coaster, which is an Arrow Looper Coaster, appears to be closed today, but that's okay. I don't need more of a headache. Just got off a front row ride on Tatsu, which is a very fun and smooth B&M flying roller coaster. One thing that's pretty cool and different about this compared to most of the other flying coasters I've been on was that the dive loop, which is my favorite element on these rides, actually comes pretty late in the ride. It also has a great view of the surrounding area while you're going up the lift and throughout the ride, so thumbs up for me. Third coaster up was Apocalypse, a GCI wooden coaster. It's a very zippy coaster. It's got a lot of speed, a lot of rattle, a lot of transitions right and left. It's a fun ride. More flags, more fun. West Coast Racers are a premier rides launched racing coaster. It's pretty cool because you get to ride both sides of the track uh, just by getting on the ride once. And the coasters do race each time, so there's a lot of interaction with the other cars. So it's pretty fun, definitely not the most intense ride in the park, uh, but there is a 54 inch height requirement. Superman Escape from Krypton, those towers in the back are closed as well as Ninja here. Ninja is also closed. It's an arrow suspended coaster where you hang under the track and swing. This was running a little while ago, but it's now down for technical difficulties. And uh, the good news is to find that out, you have to climb Samurai Summit, which is this big hill, which has nothing up there other than Ninja and that Superman ride I just mentioned. Everything over there is closed right now, so we just rode this little mine train coaster, the Gold Rusher, which is a little bit of a lengthy ride, but definitely not thrilling at all. It also has a 48 inch height requirement for some strange reason. But uh, hey, if you got nothing else to do, take a spin. Yep, Riddler's Revenge here is certainly closed all day. Allegedly, Wonder Woman over here is just temporarily delayed. We'll see if this single rail opens up at any point today. About to have some fun shooting things on Justin's League Battle for Metropolis. Of course, the place with all the good food is closed. Lexcore Drop of Doom is currently closed for weather. We'll see if we can ride it later. Also, the skies are very blue, so it must be the wind. Maybe, I don't know. Just got off Batman the ride here, the classic B&M inverted coaster. Quick update here. It's about 1.30, so we've been here for about two hours. Already been able to get on most of the coasters that are open. But that's the key. A lot of coasters are closed. We'll see what else we can hit. Lunch is from a cleverly named place called Food Etc. They did have Food Etc. Uh, we got some bowls, we got some orange chicken and teriyaki chicken. They also got quesadillas, Dole Whip, alcoholic, frozen things, all sorts of stuff, etc. as they call it. And, uh, and egg roll. It's all not too bad, especially for Six Flags part. Added to the clothes list, Goliath, the park's hyper coaster. Six Flags are doing pretty trash with keeping rides and major attractions open. At least some of it's due to maintenance. I don't know if any of it has to do with staffing, but even though it's January, you gotta do a bit better than this. Yeah, you don't usually park a train there unless you burn out your lift drive. Heh, <laughs> clever name for restroom building. Scream, another closed coaster. 
It was running earlier, so I'm assuming this one is temporary maintenance. Not having good luck with the second half of the park. Not even the Magic Flyer little kitty coaster here is running. Not even a train on the track. Well, since we can't ride any roller coaster trains, we are on board the Whistle Stop train, which is like a little kitty train here. Yeah, it does a little loop. And, uh, yep, yep, not even an exciting train here. If they maintain the coasters the way they maintain the electrical here, that explains why nothing runs. Thomas the tank engine? I thought we were trying to stop putting kids in cages, but okay. What's up, Doc? Hey, we found another roller coaster open, full throttle, right there. This is the best part. You hang under that loop. Launches you a few times. Fun ride. We've got some fountains and a waterfall near the front entrance. It's kind of nice. There's a subtle theme, inconsistent theme throughout the park, uh, but plenty of trees, so that's nice. Well, we're about to get on Revolution as long as it doesn't break while we're in line. It's another Ace Roller Coaster landmark. Acknowledged for being the first modern vertical looping coaster with tubular steel track. Cool. The Magic Mover was a funicular type ascending lift whatever you'd like to call it, gets you to the ninja area of the park where we're gonna hope that it's open this time to get a ride. Additionally, it's too bad this observation tower here closed back in 2014 because it probably would offer some nice views. There's Tatsu. You'll see Revolution, the world's first 360 degree looping coaster and even catch a glimpse at the new colors of Tatsu. All right, so finally rode Ninja after waiting over an hour in line. And, uh, oh, we're finally moving in. I thought we were stuck again. We, we did get stuck at one point. Yeah, so to continue that, don't ride Ninja. Uh, the longest wait of the day did break down while we were on it. Had to get off, got back on. The operators were terrible, so uh, they weren't paying attention. We were sitting there for another five minutes. And, uh, yeah, just uh, don't bother. Don't bother. Rounded up the night with Twisted Colossus, not one but two rides. It's a racing sort of RMC where you complete two laps around the track and if the timing's right, you get to race the coaster car next to you. Uh, and I did get one race in, it was pretty fun. Great ride, good way to end the night. Now it's time to get food and leave because the park's about to close. All right, so we just finished our day at Six Flags Magic Mountain. And overall, um, the park itself, it's a pretty cool park. It definitely has a great coaster lineup, especially for the thrill seekers out there. It was unfortunate that so many rides were closed, although I guess that made it easy enough for us to go on all the major coasters that we wanted to that were open because we didn't have to decide which ones we couldn't go on. Uh, so that being said, 10.30 to 6, we were here all day and we did get on all the major coasters that were open. Uh, but let's see, we had Viper, Superman, Scream went down and didn't come back up. Uh, Wonder Woman, the Riddler, uh, there might have been a couple others in there as well that just weren't open or never opened. Oh, Goliath too, that's another major one that was closed. So they really got to work on their maintenance game here. And uh, But otherwise the park, again, it's a great park built into a mountain setting. So it is a bit hilly terrain wise. So keep that in mind. Uh, a little bit more I remembered I wanted to say. The lines were mostly walk-ons for the coasters except for uh, full throttle. That one was running one train, had a very long line. By that I mean a half hour. Uh, and then of course Ninja, that was a whole disaster with maintenance. It took an hour. Uh, that one and then Revolution had a bit of a line, but overall mostly walk-ons, so it's definitely a good time to come. Did you have a comment? They had my t-shirt and hat combo. Oh yeah, some t-shirt and hat combos. <laughs> Jenny loves those, so the gift shops here do have those. The last couple of Six Flags Parks did. So thumbs up, t-shirt, hat combos, and fudge. And yeah, fudge. fudge yeah. Oh, and another thing. Uh, I keep remembering things on this long walk back to the car. Uh, anyway, 
Sorry about the lack of roller coaster footage. I really just wanted to pack as many coasters, uh, you know, the open coasters that were open uh, into my day so I couldn't stop to film those. We'll get more of those at the future parks. Bye, and thanks for watching. Good morning from Six Flags. What the hell are we at? Magic Mountain. 